Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be pretty exciting. We're talking about the Ooze Duplex and we are talking about the Alchemist cartridge. So stick around, give me just a second, we're gonna talk. Okay guys, so today we're gonna talk about the Duplex. I bought this a while back, I really like it. It's convenient, it's dual purpose, um, it's heavy duty, it's sleek, it looks good. Um, it comes with a couple of different attachments. This one attachment that's in here is the concentrate. You can use waxes or batters or butters or shatter, whatever you choose. You just unscrew it here and put your concentrates right down inside. Put the mouthpiece back on and drop it in. Now, on the controls, they're on the inside. This is magnetic. So this is actually your button, your push button. See the, they may not be able to, but the little light comes on there. Um, it's got different heat settings. Right now I have it set on the highest because concentrates just, they need that extra heat. Um, there is a USB charger down here at the bottom. So to, oh, Yes, also it has a view window. Um, anyways, you squeeze the trigger here. And you're good to go. The other attachment that it came with is an empty one gram cartridge. It's refillable. Um, right now I just have um, some CBD vape juice in here because from time to time I like to smoke on that. I used to be a smoker, a very heavy smoker, and I have recently quit smoking cigarettes. Yay! Anyways, I still get that craving to smoke a cigarette from time to time, so this is my alternative. Um, so basically for me, this duplex is three in one. It is my concentrates, it is my CBD cart, and it is also a regular cartridge, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute. So, um, on the CBD juices, I like to burn it hot to very hot. Anyways, that is that cartridge. Um, it also comes with a USB charger. It also comes with a dab tool. And comes with full instructions here. Uh, very easy to follow. These run about $50 or $60 depending on where you purchase it. I purchased this one at the Vapor Maven and um, they had them in stock in three different colors. So we are now going to try this Alchemist. This is a new cartridge, um, new to me anyways. It may have been out for quite a while. Definitely hard to get into. There's a little button here that you have to push. At the same time, you're supposed to slide. Uh, Slide the package out. Okay. So you slide it out, and it is a really pretty gold cartridge. Um, flipping it out, you have, I don't want to break a nail, so I'm using the dab tool. Um, the cartridge is quite pretty. I have tasted this just a little bit. It did have an air bubble in the top of it. Not a big air bubble, just a small one. Um, it actually has a marijuana leaf on the front of it, kind of, not really etched in the glass, but on the glass. Um, these are not sea cell. I don't know, sometimes people want to know if it's a sea cell battery. So I'm just attaching the little uh, battery piece to this that goes, that the ooze came with, uh, that is four cartridges. Um, if I didn't have that on there, my cartridge would set like the mouthpiece would barely stick out. So, 
turn this down. I like to use the vapes, like the actual cartridges on the very lowest setting. And the lowest setting on this is blue. So cheers guys. I'm not sure what I think about the flavor on this cart. Um, the oil is somewhat thick. I mean, it's, the, the bubble does move and I've always, for some reason, looked at the bubble and how fast it moves as to whether or not the thickness is, you know, what the thickness is of the product. Um, this kind of has, let me try it again. Some earthiness to it. It slightly, has a slightly burnt, not really burnt, but the first time I tried it, I've tasted like Bengay. And I don't know, I've never tasted anything green crack before, so I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Personally, if I had it to buy over again, I would not get this flavor. I'm not a fan of it. As far as the cartridge goes, you know, it's a nice looking uh, quality cartridge. The packaging is quality. The flavor is mediocre. Maybe it's just, it's just not my thing. It has an odd aftertaste and it slightly burns my throat. Um, I would like to try some other flavors, but I would not try this one. This one is supposed to be a sativa. Honestly, I don't ever notice the difference between sativas and indicas. Um, I don't think it really makes a difference. Just buy one because you're going to get the same results. Um, that's just my opinion. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, cartridge gets an A for packaging and for actual cart style gets an A+. Plus. Flavor, I would give it a C. Oil quality consistency, you know, is it's there. It looks just like any other cartridge. It actually reminds me a lot of the color that... 1937 carts are this actually sounds like it's glass so that's very cool um, i like some good quality stuff but i also want the product inside to be a good quality yeah okay so if you guys have tried this brand let me know what you think or what flavors you've tried if you've tried this flavor and if you thought it tastes like burnt bengay um, I hear Thin Mint comments a lot, and this is the first time that I've ever had that minty kind of odd flavor. Um, so yeah, guys, if you have tried this brand of carts, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's something you can do for me. It helps me reach my personal goals, and I really, really appreciate it. So guys, have a good day. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you later. Cheers. I pulled it out and now it doesn't want to work. Cheers, guys. Bye.